हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मोड एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स एज पर डेफिनेशन अ मोड इज द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट वैल्यू इन अ सीरीज सो लेट्स डिस्कस अवर इंडिविजुअल सीरीज सो इन एन इंडिविजुअल सीरीज एज पर द ऑब्जर्वेशन वे फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स सपोज देयर इज अ रेस्टोरेंट एंड द रेस्टोरेंट इज प्लेसिंग द ऑर्डर एंड द ऑर्डर्स आर ऑफ डिफरेंट वैल्यूज लेट मी राइट कपल ऑफ ऑर्डर्स फॉर आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग so let's say the first order value is rupees 100 the next order value is rupees 100 then 110 110 110 120 130 130 130 and 140 these are some orders and the order values now if we need to find out the mode to find out the mode we need to figure it out that how many times a order value appears for example Rupees hundred order comes two times. Rupees one ten order comes three times. One twenty order comes one time. One thirty comes two time and one forty comes one time. So if you look at these figures, so just by looking you are able to notice that one hundred ten rupees order comes three time, and this is the maximum time it comes. Right. So the frequency of hundred and ten rupees order is three. and this is the maximum frequency so 110 as per definition the most frequent value so 110 is the most frequent three times it is coming it is the most frequent value in this series so this 110 is the mode of this series now come to the discrete series in discrete series as per the observation there are two one is the value and second is the frequency we got both the things value and frequency let me put out some values and their frequency so that we can figure it out let's say value is 10 20 30 40 50 these are some values right 10 comes two times 20 comes one time 30 comes 10 times 40 comes five times and 50 comes six times so these are the values and these are their frequencies and we are able to find it out that this is the maximum frequency 10 and 10 frequency corresponds to 30 value so 30 is the mode now let's understand we have one more value called 60 60 also comes 10 times so in this case what will be the mode that we will discuss in the grouping table right now coming to continuous series continuous series we will discuss later okay now let's discuss the grouping table now we need to create the grouping table so this is a sort of a grouping table grouping table in the grouping table what we need to do we need to create the six columns in front of the value so these are the values so let me explain what all the six columns denotes the first column that is c1 contains the original frequencies that we have respective to these values the second columns contains the sum of two two frequencies right so this is an i put here g2 means group of two starting from the first frequency so let me do it in front of you <clears throat> so let me sum 10 and 12 this is the first group this is the second group this is the third group this is the fourth group and remaining one element one frequency we can leave it let me sum it 10 and 12 comes 22 34 28 and 7 the third column contains the group of two starting from the second frequency so the second frequency is 12 so here you have to create a group starting from 12 12 and 15 is the first group 19 and 20 will be the second group 8 and 4 will be the third group and 3 and 2 will be the fourth group let me sum it out 12 plus 15 27 19 20 comes your 39 8 plus 4 is obviously 12 and 3 and 2 is 5 now coming to the third column third column is g3 g3 means group of three starting from the first frequency 
so 10 12 15 this will be your first group 19 28 will be the second group and 4 3 2 this will be your third group so 10 12 15 will become your 17 27 37 this will be your 19 28 20, 30, 40, 47, 4, 3, 2 is 9. Now, again, G3 starting from the second frequency. Second frequency is 12, 12, 15, 19. This will be your first group. It will become your, uh, how much? Uh, this 17, 46. Second will be your 28, 4. 28 4 will be your uh, uh, 32 and remaining to you can you will give now coming to c3 that is again g3 means group of 3 starting from third frequency so third frequency is 50 15 19 20 is the first group 15 19 uh, it will become your 54 and 8 4 3 Eight four three is twelve and three fifteen. Correct. Okay. So this way you have created your analysis table. Now what we need to do? We need to do one more last step in this grouping table. We have to find out the maximum in each of the column. Like in the column of the frequency, which is the maximum frequency we are seeing here. The maximum frequency is twenty. In this column, the maximum is thirty four. Let's circle it out. In G2, the maximum is 39. Here, maximum is 47. Here, the maximum is 46. And here, the maximum is 54. So, our grouping table is done. We have created all the six columns and we have identified the maximum in each and individual columns. Now, the second and the last table that we have to create is called the analysis table. In the analysis table, these values will come horizontally and these columns will come in vertical way. So let me create an analysis table. Okay. Uh, so let me write first of all all the columns like C1, C2, C3. We are having six columns, right? C4, C5 and C6. Now, we have to write all those values here 10, 10 to 18, right? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Let me draw some lines for separation purpose. Right, now you, you are able to see. Let me draw some horizontal lines also. And for column 6. Now let's fill this analysis table. For column 1, right? For column 1, what is the maximum frequency? 20. That we have circled it out. And it corresponds to value 14. So what do you do? Just put a tick here. For column 2, the maximum is 34 and 34 corresponds to value 12 and 13. So what you do? 12 and 13, you just mark it out here. Now coming for column 3, maximum is 39 and 39 corresponds to 13 and 14. For C4 column, group 3 column, 37, sorry, 47 is the highest value and 47 corresponds to 13, 14, 15. 13, 14, 15. Just take it here. Right? Here the maximum is 46 and 46 means 11, 12, 13. 11, 12, 13. Now coming to the last column. Last column is 54 and 54 means 12, 13 and 14. So 12, 13 and 14. So based on the highest values, we have 
populated our analysis table here. Now let's see what is the total. Who got most of the ticks here? We don't have any tick here. We have only one tick in this column. We have three tick in this column. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five tick in this column. Four tick in this column and one tick in this column. And which column has got the maximum tick? Five tick in this column and this column corresponds to value 30. So it simply implies that 13 is the mood for these values. We are looking at this analysis table. Just we need to figure it out that which value has got the maximum count here. So now you can see that 13 has got the maximum count. So it means that 13 is the mode of this value series. Okay. So I hope so you are able to understand about this grouping table and analysis table and how both are created. Thank you.